Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope your day is going wonderful. Thank you so much for joining me. Well, I'm excited to share with you. We're gonna make three cards using, we're gonna make three pies <laughs> using my brand new collection over at Spellbinders. It's called Pie Perfection. And um, this collection is all about pies. So we're gonna sweeten up the day and create some projects. I'm actually gonna use almost every um, every item in my collection today for my three cards. So if you're unfamiliar with the Pie Perfection collection, um, you'll get to know it pretty good in today's post for Try It Out Tuesday. Let's jump in and we're going to start with the Perfect Pies die set. And then we're also going to embellish it with my delicious decorations. These are smaller um, size decorations that are great for so many occasions. But for today, I think we're just going to make a berry pie. So we're going to jump in and get started. I'm going to start off by doing some die cutting here. Let's grab some cardstock. Well, I think I grabbed all the pink family in the Spellbinders Color Essential uh, cardstock. I have Wildberry, Dahlia, and Pink Sand. We're going to make strawberry pie, so I think this color combination goes good together. And then I do have some Portobello. we got to have that for um, our pie crust. So basically, these colors. We're going to start by taking our pie tin. We'll die cut that out with some Silver Mirror cardstock. This piece right here, we're going to die cut out with our portobello. That's our pie crust. And then we have this piece. This is your pie base. And we are going to die cut this out with our Dahlia. I love this color. It's such a pretty corally pink. We have some whip topping. We're going to die cut that out with some white cardstock. And... I think that's it in the perfect pies, as far as the perfect pies go. And I, did I lose a piece? Yes. Okay. Now we're gonna bring in our delicious decorations and do some die cutting with this also. I have quite a few die cut in the back, but I need some strawberries. And so we're gonna take our strawberry die. I'm gonna die cut it out quite a few times um, with pink sand, with the dahlia, and then also with the wild berry. So probably three or four times with each one. We need lots of berries here. And then for the tops of the berries, we have this piece. In this die, you're gonna die cut out the strawberry top, the cherry or the apple leaf, and then you have the cherry. Um, I usually keep the green cherries. I don't know if you can see. Because um, if I want a little bit of dimension, you can see here I have some green cherries. Um, I can stack a red one on top of the green one and give it a little bit of dimension. But I'm going to die cut out my strawberry tops with all, sh all three shades of green in the color essential family. So we have peridot, rainforest, and fern. So we'll die cut out those to coordinate with our strawberries that we're going to die cut out. And then I have this flower here, super pretty. Um, I'm going to die cut this out about nine times, as many as I can, on my white panel here to create a background with my flower there. Oh, we need the flower centers too. I thought we would mix up a few flower centers with all three of the pink families. So we'll die cut out some flower centers with the pinks. Okay, I have a bit of die cutting to do when I'm done. Um, I will be right back. Okay, I went ahead and die cut out all of my my strawberry pie elements. Now, I went ahead and created some strawberries. Um, this is what our strawberries are going to look like, but I wanted to show you how I did that. And so, um, before I do that, I do want to show how I create my pie. Now, perfect pies is very easy to put together. So in case you guys are new, um, putting together these, I think it's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, um, you have your pie crust. You're gonna wanna adhere this to your pie base. And you see the curves here on your pie, it should line up with your pie tin. So you know um, how high that you want it to go. See, if I want to go this way, I have a little bit of showing. You just kind of move it until it lines up. Very easy to create so far. If you flip it around, this is what it looks like. Those edges line up. Okay, and then 
I popped up my my pie crust with foam adhesive, but you don't have to. I've also stacked like three of these together, and that worked out really well. But for today, I'm going to go ahead and add my pie crust right along the seam. And I think that looks cute. If you wanted to add the lattice top right now, you very well could. You see there is etch detail or emboss or deboss detail on there. But I'm going to go ahead and add my whip topping to the top of my pie. And you can go as high or as low as you want with the whip topping. I think either way it's going to look fabulous. And we have a strawberry cream pie. <laughs> so easy to put together, but I just think it's so fun. Okay, to create my strawberries, I die cut out one of, um, actually I die cut out quite a, quite a few, but for to show you guys how to put them together, it's going to be very easy. You just add a glue, a dot of glue at the very top of your strawberries. Let me scoot it up here so you can see. You just add a little dot of glue at the very top of your strawberry and then you can use your craft pick or your jewel tool and then you add the stem facing up. You just add your strawberry tops. Very easy to put together. So we have some cute little strawberries. And then there is dotted detail on our strawberries also which makes it fun. Now I'm going to go um, I'm going to add a little sparkle to my strawberries, so I'm using my reverse tweezers and I'm going to use my glue and add some glue to one side of my strawberry. And then I'm going to use some Spellbinders Sparkle Dust Glitter. This is like an iridescent glitter and we're going to do a little dipping. I'm going to dip that. It looks cloudy right now, but when the glue dries, you'll just be able to see the glitter. Let me show you. So fun. Just adds a little sparkle. I'm going to do the same thing to our other strawberries. Go along this. And it really doesn't matter which side you go on. But I'm just going to dip it. And then we'll set this aside to dry. And we'll do our last one. Okay, a small one will fit behind here nicely. And then we're going to add some strawberries to the top of our pie. I think this last one we're going to put on our, our card base. I want one to go just above here so it'll be easier when we have our card base. Okay, so let's set our pie aside and we're going to create a background. You just need three strawberries for that card. We have our flowers. I die cut out nine of them and then the same color strawberries. I die cut out the flower centers. There's two different types of flower centers. I don't know if you can tell. One of them looks like an itty bitty flower and then the other one is just a circle. I'm going to use the itty bitty flower for the centers up here. But And then these flowers, I don't know if you can tell, but these have dotted detail on them also. So I'm going to take some white cardstock. And I want to create a frame. I'm going to be using my essential rectangle dies. And we'll take the dotted one. This is the second to the largest dotted one. And then we'll take the outline. And then we'll take the next rectangle. And we'll line them up. And we're going to die cut this out to create a frame. So here is my frame. You can see the dotted detail is, and, and then I have a piece of um, Silver Fox cardstock. I just trimmed it down to fit behind my frame. We're going to go ahead and add it glue behind here. Now we have a frame. Now we're going to stamp our sentiment, and we are going to use the stamping positioner because I think it works better. <laughs> so let's bring in that. We're going to add a little bit of tape behind it. And then I'll just tack that down. For my sentiment, we're going to be using the Sentiment uh, Perfect Pie Sentiments and Filling stamp set. Goes with all the pies, I think. 
and I wanted to create a thank you card. So we're going to grab thank you. And then I want to take a berry. And then we're going to, there's a much in here too. And we'll take that. So we're going to stamp thank you very much. I just removed the release paper off of my pie and then we'll add this a little bit. We'll just, we can use the pie tin to kind of center it on our frame. And I'm going to offset it a little bit. I think the one I made for Spellbinders I didn't offset, but that's okay. And then we can add our last berry up here. It looks delicious. <laughs> okay, after we have this then, I do have a piece of pop-up foam adhesive. I'm going to use my glue and go ahead and add some behind my, my panel, my silver fox. And then we can let that adhere. And then in the meantime, we're going to work on our background. I have some, uh, this is a card front panel, so it's four and a quarter by five and a half inches. I'm going to take my embossing folder of the month. This is the sketched floral. I love this. And I'm going to emboss the entire card front panel with my pink sand. I'll run this through my die cut machine. Now, after we have this embossed, you can see how pretty this is. I'm going to take about an inch and a quarter off the bottom. Nice thing about it being four and a quarter by four and a quarter is you can turn it to every, any side that you want. <laughs> okay, I'm going to adhere. Well, let's before, before we do that, let's take our card base. I have a standard A2 size card base, and then we're going to go ahead and take our flowers. Now, I'm just going to use my tape runner, and I'm going to fill in the bottom area. Kind of evenly space them about an inch up with my white flowers. Once we have it trimmed off, again, I'm not too concerned about this section because my frame, I think it's going to cover it. I'm going to take my embossed panel. We're going to add tape behind here, and we're going to adhere this to the very top of our card base. Once we have this covered, we're going to go ahead and take a strip of black and white striped paper and I'm going to cover the seam with this. And then we're going to adhere that to the center of our card base. And you can see that's we're covering that up so I wasn't concerned about that area. We have a little bit of time before this dries. So in the meantime, let's dot the center of our flowers with our flower centers. And I think for the most part, I got the full um, flower center on my card base, which is nice. And I'm just going to alternate the colors between the wild berry, the pink sand, and the dahlia. And I think that is good. When this dries, I'll trim off the excess that's overhanging on that. That will finish off our first project. Um, I'm going to go ahead and clean up my desk and then we're going to jump in to our next card. Okay, for my next card, we are going to be using Serva Slice, which is the slice of pie that's kind of at a, um, a side view. And then we're also going to use Dish It Up. And um, I, I love my pies, but I think the silverware just makes it so super cute. So we're going to create a background with our silverware and we are going to create a slice of pie. And again, we're going to make a strawberry pie. So to make our pie, we need some cardstock. So I picked some of those same colors. Now we're going to take our top piece. I want a little drizzle, so we're going to use our pink sand cardstock. And then for our pie base, I'm going to use wild berry. We have the drizzle, which is super fun. I'm going to add that to the pink sand. For our pie crust, we're going to go back to portobello. And then we have some whip topping. We're going to use white cardstock. And then as far as our silverware goes for Dish It Up, 
we have a plate. I'm going to die cut the plate out with the silver mirror cardstock this time. And then we have the fork, the spoon, and the knife. We're going to die cut out fork, spoon, and knife with white cardstock. Um, quite a few times. I'm actually going to bring in another piece. I'm going to do four sets in total. Um, and then I'm going to take the fork and the knife and die cut it out with white cards or the black cardstock here. So quite a few sets, full sets of the silverware with the white cardstock. Fork, knife with black, and then you can see the rest here. I have a lot of die cutting to do. When I'm done, I will be right back. Okay, I have everything die cut. You can see my my flatware, or at least I look like more like disposable flatware. <laughs> I have my black fork and knife, and then we have our pie and our pie plate. So I'm gonna set over my dice, set these over here, and we're gonna go ahead and zoom in and create a. Um, we're gonna serve a slice. How about that? <laughs> I think this is pretty basic um, self-explanatory, but first we're gonna do is take flip over the back of our pie. And if you wanna do a little bit of distressing, you very well could. But I think um, we're just gonna keep it nice and vivid. Then you take your base and it will line up perfectly along the bottom edge of your pie on the back side. It just lines up really nice here, you can see. And then, while the glue is still wet, I'm going to go ahead and take my um, my top piece and then along the top edge with our glue. And then we could just pick this up and you just follow along your pie crust. I'm doing it reversed, but you can use this corner here as a guide and this corner. They will line up makes it pretty easy you can see now after we have that done we have our little drizzle let's go ahead and add that just add some glue behind here and then we can place our drizzle along our pie And our pie is good to go. I'm going to cover up that straight edge there. After we have our pie done, we need to add some topping. There is a cut line if you want to tuck a strawberry in there or a cherry or any kind of fruit, really. You could tuck it in there. But I'm going to add quite a bit of strawberry, so I'm just going to leave it um, flush. And then I'll add a foam square behind here. Okay, once we have our strawberries placed on our pie. <laughs> we can go ahead and I'm going to add some foam adhesive to the very bottom of the pie before, you know what, before we place our pie on our plate, um, I already removed the release paper. We're going to add our silverware. So I like to crisscross them. So I'm going to crisscross the knife on top of the fork just slightly. And then we'll flip this around. Add a little more adhesive right at the, the crisscross. And I'm going to add this to my plate, like so. <laughs> and then I have, I kept the release paper on top of the top one, but on the bottom I removed it. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to scoot up my fork. It's such a cute fork, I want to be able to see it. Now we're going to work on our background. I have a piece of Dahlia cardstock. And this, I took a quarter inch off of the bottom. Um, so a little bit of white will show on our card base. We're gonna make a uh, landscape style card today. Um, but this is using the embossing folder of the month club kit for, for May, for this month. So you can see the pretty burst. This is called stitched, um, faux stitching, faux stitched. That's the name of the bossing folder. And um, I'll link it down below, but it is so pretty. You can see the circles. Now, we're gonna go ahead and now and have some fun with our silverware. We're gonna 
basically create a background with it and I want to create um, kind of like a, a pattern. I think the tape runner is the easiest way to go. So we'll start off with a base set and add our spoon and then we're going to add our fork. And I'm going to flip the fork upside down and I'm going to overlap it. And then we can, I think I'm going to add another spoon right next to it. And I ran out of tape. I'm going to put my spoon upside down. And I need to grab some more tape here. I just finished up with my background panel. And I did use the leftover pieces you can see here. One here and here and here. So... We did good. And I do I did end up with a couple of knives left over. So I will just put these back in the package and we won't have to use those. <laughs> now I'm gonna take my panel, we're gonna put this directly on our card base. We have a fun flatware filled background. I think that's so neat. Now I took a piece of vellum that will leave me a little bit of a border. Um, and then I rounded the corners off of it. The vellum, let's see, um, if I have my measuring tape. No measuring tape, I do have my ruler. Let's see, this measures four and three quarter inches wide by uh, three and a quarter inches tall. And then again, I rounded the corners. Now this is gonna go directly on my panel, my, my card base. I wanted to make sure that you could still see the silverware behind it. And then, um, this piece is where we're going to stamp our sentiment, and I'm going to put this right below it here. I'm going to go ahead and, this is about a half inch strip, but you really don't need that big of a strip. And I'm going to place this so you can still see about a quarter inch of that white showing on the bottom of my card base. You want to tack it down really good because you're going over the silverware and our embossed panel and then I'm gonna line up my vellum kind of position where I want my pie good deal now I went ahead and switched spots for my silverware instead of putting it on this side I put it on this side and then I went ahead and removed the release paper off of the top of my um, my pie here and then, so this is going to go over here by our silverware. Maybe we should add a couple, huh? We'll add a couple strawberries. I mean, it's strawberry pie, right? <laughs> and that glitter works out great. Okay. And I think that is a cute little strawberry just because card and that finishes card number two. Now we're going to clean off our desk once more and then we will jump in into our third card. We're going to use the pie box for that. Now for my next pie, we are going to be using the Skyview pies. And we're also going to use the baker's box. And then we're going to use the picnic checkerboard stencil. We're going to start off by doing some stenciling and then we'll go into die cutting. So let's. Now I already have pixie spray behind my stencil. And so I have a panel. I trimmed off, this is a card front panel, so it's five and a half inches long, but I trimmed off a quarter inch. So it's five and a half inches by four inches. And then we're going to take the picnic checkerboard stencil. And then we're going to take two inks. I have spun sugar and picked raspberry. Both are sweet names. <laughs> and we're going to start by ink blending um, spun sugar first. So I'm going to go over the bottom. Spun sugar is very light. And I think that's very, very nice. Now I'm going to trail all the way up. Um, not going all the way to the top, but I do want the lighter, the lightest I can get on the bottom kind of fading up, like so. 
you can see it's kind of dark. You can hardly see it here. Um, maybe if I bring it to you, you can see it a little bit better. It's there, just real faded. Okay, so that's sponge sugar. Next, I'm going to go ahead and bring, I'm going to lift up my stencil. Let's do this first. And you can see the checkerboards, which is nice how it kind of fades up. I'm going to take my stencil, bring it back, and then this time I'm going to cover up those squares. To cover up them, that's very easy to do, and you want to make sure that they're centered so your lines are pretty much even. But you're just basically going to go over the stenciled squares that you just created. Pretty easy. So now we have white squares once more, and then we're going to go in with picked raspberry. And we're going to ink blend heavy on the bottom. Actually, picked raspberry is a little bit bright. Yeah, I think warm lips, warm lipstick, warm lips, warm lipstick is a little bit more warmer. And then I want to kind of fade up. So once I'm up halfway, I'm going to take my sponge sugar and kind of pull down that color a little bit. I want to stamp my sentiment in the top. So if I do this, I think it's um, going to work out better. So there we go. Kind of a mix of all three colors of picked raspberry, worn lipstick, and sponge sugar. That's a nice color pink trio. Now we can remove our stencil off the top and you can see we have a fun checkerboard. So this is our background. We're going to go ahead and adhere this to our card base. So let's just use our tape runner. It's going to leave me about an eighth of an inch on the left and the right. And I have, if I have any overhanging on the top, no worries. We'll just flip it over and trim that off with our scissors. Take our dies. Okay, we have the, the Skyview Pies. Um, we're going to take our pie crust and die cut this out with some portobello, of course. And then we have the inside of our pie. We're going to die cut this out with our wild berry. And I'm going to use the lattice crust today and I'm going to die cut that out with my dahlia. And that's all we need for our Skyview pies. And for our baker's box, love this. I'm going to also use one of the banners, um, the fishtail banner here, the little tag. I'm going to take that. We're going to die cut that out too. I'm going to die cut this out with, I think we can fit them both on here. I'm going to die cut this out with the Dahlia cardstock and also the wild berry. Okay, I die cut everything out. You can see here. Let's zoom in. And then along with my baker's box, I went ahead and um, created a little, just slightly less than two and a half inch square. This way I can put it on the inside. You want to go slightly, the, by the time you're done making your box, your box is going to be two and a half inches by two and a half inches. So you want this a little bit smaller so it doesn't buckle. So I created this for my, underneath my pie and I did the same size using acetate. So just slightly smaller than two and a half by two and a half inches square. Um, we're going to first start by adhering our acetate. Now I'm using my score tape. Sometimes the score tape's nice because you don't have the, the glue oozing out. But you can see that, well, maybe you can't see them. But there are score, maybe right here. There are two score lines on each side and then you have flaps. Too. You want to first, I always fold the flaps first. Let's fold those in. Just fold them over. There's a score line for those too. And then, after our flaps are, you have a little table. <laughs> um, then what you want to do is go over our first score line. You can see here. Fold it in. And then where it's where it starts to um, bevel, turn, you want to reinforce that score line as well. If you want to use your bone folder, you could, but it's really not necessary if you use thin, thin um, 
uh, paper. After we have all four sides and um, re, uh, score lines and reinforced, we're going to kind of open it flat once more, and then we're going to take adhesive or score tape, and we're going to add those. We're going to add tape on all of four of the flaps, and this is the um, the front of the this is the front of the baker's box. Fold in those flaps. You see how I folded them in? We'll do the bottoms too. Fold those in. Once they're folded in, you can pull it up. Okay, to where your flaps are here and here. And then you can just attach the side. Attach the left side, attach the right side. Make sure that those flaps grab. And do the same thing. Fold this in, attach those flaps on the, the inside here. And then it will fold this flap in and then attach this flap, lining up those seams. Pretty easy. And then where those bevel edges are, they should fold in nice and flat. And you know what? They don't. They some of them don't line up perfectly because my fold's not straight. But you don't really need it to be actually perfect, which is nice. <laughs> um, once we have this done, I am going to go ahead and I want to use glue to adhere this. But we'll set this aside. Basically, basically our baker's box is, box is done. You can see here. Now let's make a pie. Very easy to do. Um, somebody actually said that they, they gave me a thumbs down, I guess, because um, there was no instructions for the pie, but I think it's pretty, pretty um, uh, self-explanatory, basically. So I'm going to adhere my lattice crust over the top of my berry pie, and then I'm just going to adhere my crust circle around the edge. I mean, I don't, I don't, I think that looks so cute. <laughs> That's a little berry pie. I love the way this looks. Love the lattice top. Now, of course, I'm using the Dahlia cardstock for the lattice, but if you wanted to use the Portobello to create a pie crust top, you could. But I think the pink on pink is pretty. Now, we have our pie done. And if you wanted to create a couple more layers with the pie crust and then layer it on top of each other for the dimension, you could do that too. But I think one layer is great for today um, because we're going to add some strawberries. So cute. <laughs> Now, um, I do want a little height to my pie, so I'm going to bring in one or a couple of foam squares. And then we can remove the release paper. And then this, we're going to center on our, our square piece. Just make sure it's centered. And for that, this, we're going to use the tape runner. And I'm going to adhere this about a half of an inch. We're going to go ahead and adhere our pie. I'm going to use my tape runner. And first we're going to adhere our pie to the where we're going to place it on our card base here. And I think that's a good spot. And then I'm going to go ahead and add glue over these flaps. Now this may take a little bit of time to dry, but that's okay. So I added glue to those flaps, and then we're going to just place it over our pie. And hold it down a few seconds. I'm going to bring in an acrylic block to weigh it down. We have our Hello Cutie, and then we have our pie sentiment. Um, I'm going to do a faux bow here um, with all of my tags. And you know, I think I have, I think my dahlia is a little too dark. So, okay, I think the, I think my dahlia was a little too dark. So I die cut out my, my banner once more with my pink sand. And I think that's going to work out better. Um, I'm going to use my tape runner and I'm going to attach. Um, both of these tags together and I'm not worried about you um, being able to see the 
the hole underneath. I mean, it worked out good this time, but I'm not worried about that. I'm going to add a little more adhesive, and then I'm going to attach my Hello Cutie. And I want to leave my tails of the bow a little bit long. So we'll trim off one side and make one side a little bit longer. So it kind of trails down. I think that's going to look, I think that's going to work out nice. Now I think my pie's grabbed, so I'll remove my block. And I think it looks so cute so far, but I do want to add my pie. So it says, hello cutie pie. And again, I'm gonna use my black ink for this. And I'm gonna stamp this right next to my, my banners. Like so. And then we're gonna finish it off with a few little pests. <laughs> And we're going to add just a couple here. Okay, and then that is my third project for today. So these are my cards using the Pie Perfection Collection. Um, I hope this gives you some ideas on how to use it. And again, I did um, a blog post for Spellbinders. If you wanted to check that out, um, I'll find the link and then put it down over on my blog if you guys want to head over there. But um, some fun strawberry pies. I hope you have a fabulous rest of your Tuesday. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, we will see you next Tuesday. Have a great day.